It's good, Lord, to be here. Your glory fills the night. Your face and God Happy Monday to you. Today is Monday. It is, let's see, February 15th, 2021. I hope you had a wonderful weekend, and I join and I welcome you back uh, to joining me uh, for this devotion. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at our psalmody from yesterday. It's Psalm 50, verses 1 through 6. Let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Psalm 50, verses 1 through 6. The Mighty One, God the Lord, speaks and summons the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God shines forth. Our God comes. He does not keep silence. Before him is a devouring fire. Around him a mighty tempest. He calls to the heavens above and to the earth that he may judge his people. Gather to me, my faithful ones, who made a covenant with me by sacrifice. The heavens declare his righteousness, for God himself is judge. This is the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the Old Testament times, God came to his people in different ways. The Lord came in human form to speak with Abraham. That's from Genesis chapter 18. God spoke to Moses from a burning bush, Exodus chapter 3. And when the Israelites left Egypt, he went before them in a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night, Exodus chapter 13. The Lord descended in fire onto Mount Sinai, Exodus chapter 19. And in our psalm, God comes in power and judgment. The psalmist cries out in warning, Our God comes. He is coming in fire and storm to judge his people. He is coming to gather to himself his faithful people, those who trust his covenant promises and offer right sacrifices according to his law. And God did come among us. But he did not come in fire and storm. He came in fulfillment of his ancient covenant promise. He came quietly, as he had come once before to his prophet Elijah. The prophet had run from his enemies who sought his life. In fearful despair, the prophet was hiding in a cave when the Lord came to him. As Elijah watched and waited, a powerful wind, an earthquake, and a fire tore through his mountain refuge. But the Lord was not in those events. Instead, the Lord's voice came to his prophet as a low whisper. God came among us in the person of Jesus Christ. His mighty voice was quiet, not heard in a low whisper, but in an infant's cry from a manger in Bethlehem. During his public ministry, Jesus proclaimed the kingdom of God, but he kept silence when, like a lamb, he was led to the slaughter. He was condemned and crucified. The divine judgment against sin that should have fallen on us fell instead on Jesus as he hung on the cross. In his blood, in his sacrifice, the covenant was satisfied. A covenant made and fulfilled by God alone. Through his death and resurrection, Jesus gathered into one the children of God who are scattered abroad. And one day Jesus will come again in glory as judge and king. He will come on clouds, revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, inflicting vengeance on those who do not know God and on those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
on that day, the heavens will be set on fire and dissolved, and the heavenly bodies will melt as they burn. Jesus will gather his faithful people to himself, all those who have trusted in God's covenant promise of salvation. In eager anticipation of that great day, we raise our joyful cry and proclaim, Our God comes. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, amen. Would you join with me in prayer? Lord, I look forward to the day when I will be gathered with all your faithful people to dwell in your presence forever. Come, Lord Jesus. Amen. Now would you join with me in praying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Once again, thank you for joining me on this Monday. I hope that uh, everything is going well for you, and I look forward to seeing you again on Wednesday. Until that time, the Lord be with you.